Let us make a Maryland bridge. I have marked the teeth and I'm going to be extracting from the model. I'm going to move the lower model into a different collection where it does not always pop up while we're using the H and Alt H shortcut keys. In the outline window, I'm going to hide this by clicking on the screen. Now it's sort of semi-permanently hidden. I will go to the model designer after selecting that and we're going to go down to the cutting tools here, the separate. First let's place our cursor, then we're going to draw the gum outline. E left click, E left click and we're going to mark where we want to cut these teeth off. Also by going through the contact area, I don't want to have any sharp lines while we're doing this, so no deep crevices like that, just smooth lines. We're going to E left click until we get to the other side, shift left click and F to fuse and then mark the gum line. That should then go pink, select one of the vertices and we're going to offset contact line, E to extrude and we're going to take this over the contact like that all the way down and then shift left click and F to fuse. Go to the other side, select one of the vertices, or contact, offset contact line, E to extrude and you can see how it's been offset, I think it's 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 millimeters. This is so that the cutting tool can be above the surface. Next we're going to make these faces of the contacts. So go in close contacts, they should then appear like the screen. Make sure that the lines or the vertices all, are all above the surface, which they are. Then in close the base, we are in transparent mode and we're going to take this arrow and give it a bit of depth. This is so that we are socketing the, the model and then click on remove tooth. Now we should have two objects on the scene, your model and the remove tooth. I'm going to hide, H to hide, select your model, go to the the, the block art mod module, so not the block art, go to the model designer which we are in, go to the um, the sculpt tool and click sculpt. This is so that we can get a nice smooth uh, indent, so an extraction socket. So here I'm smoothing this down and this will then become the fitting surface. Okay, And the contact likewise, just smooth it down a little bit like that. Once that's done, we're going to exit. Alt H to unhide our, I'm going to select that, Control I to select the inverse, H to hide, take this, do the same thing, sculpt. That's with, then we can get a good mesh structure. Now I've noticed there's a little bit of a, a gap in there, there's a, like a little hole, which we're going to fill up as well. But we can fill that up a little bit later. So here I've got a nice tooth mesh. Okay, next thing what we're going to do is we're going to go exit, Alt H to unhide, select your model, go to the block out, name this upper and create the offset. Now if you are printing, then we need a larger offset. If you are milling this like in Sikonia, it'll be a smaller offset. So here, just assuming we're milling this out, let's put this at 50 microns like that and apply that. So if you're doing the resin, keep it bigger. This is important because this is the engineering offset that we need. Next thing is we're going to survey this. Now when we survey this, we have to look at the path of insertion. So if you're inserting it from this way, then 
the path of insertion will be it'll be blocked out differently as opposed to the top. I'm blocking it out from the top because I want to maintain this tissue surface. So here what I'm doing is I'm looking at this side and I'm looking at this side. Very important. Next we're going to we can mark the undercuts if you want to and here we can clearly see where the undercuts are on both sides. We're going to create a passive model. This means that all the undercuts have been blocked out. Okay, we're going to finish that. Perfect. We're going to go to the splint and layer module. Here we're going to name this target, the model, which is a fitting surface. We can see how nicely it's been blocked out. We're going to then alt edge to unhide. And then we're going to start painting. Click on paint layer. Now this layer can't be two millimeters thick. Say you're milling out of whatever. We're going to say 0.6 millimeters thick, so let's put this at 1.2, which is always double, and then zoom in a little bit and start painting your wing. Now we have to also consider the occlusion with this wing as well, but in this case I think it was out of occlusion. Here, like that. I'm going to do the same on this side. Now what I want to do is I want to connect the, this wing with that wing. We don't have to, but um, now actually, you know what, we're going to just leave it like that, but I will want to exit this. I'll just briefly hide this one, go back into the, the sculpt, not the sculpt, yeah, the um, weight paint mode. And I'll extend this a little bit further, something to that effect. A minus over here like that. So that's basically my wings. Okay. Then we're going to accept these. So click on accept layer. The layer voxel size we're going to make quite fine. So it's 0 0.2, but I want to smooth these down while I'm at it. So in the Dynatopo, put the smoothing to about six so that we can get a fine smoothing. As you can see, it uh, gives, gives us a nice wing. That's one, and that's the other one. Now it is vitally important that the fitting surface is cut out at the very end. Exit that. Again, voxel size 0 0.2 to make it nice and fine. All right, so Alt H to unhide. Now what we want to do is we want to connect these up. And that's quite easy to do. So we're going to select we can select the the bridge and this one here and we're going to go to edit ball tools go to union and that will unify the two so we've got one object now in transparent mode you should be able to see there's like a like, like a hole there and a hole over here which means that these have been nicely unified I'm going to delete the color Okay, there's two more things we have to think about. One, before we cut the fitting surface, we need to think about strength. At the moment, we may not have enough strength. You can imagine that this wing is only 0 0.6 millimeters thick. That's not strong enough in a lab situation. Also, we've got a hole here. 
Now I want to block these out and we're going to add some strength. So shift right click after having it selected, go to the model designer and go to patch up. Now this is very similar to wax. S to scale and then shift D to duplicate. Now what I'm essentially doing is I'm creating a, a good solid contact. So here we're going to go onto this side as well, like that. At the same time I'm going to block out this hole, something to that effect. So I'm, I'm using Shift D and the S key. So Shift D, move my mouse, and Shift D again. And I love this. It's it's like it's like having liquid wax on a on an instrument. It's just absolutely fantastic. So always think about the strength of your connectors. Very important. Okay. So I think that's looking quite good. You could even join this up like that, but I think that should be okay. Maybe a little bit more over here. Yeah, like that. Okay, then we're going to fill this up. Go to the Sculpt tool, and again I'm going to go to the Dinotopa to make it quite fine. And we're going to then give it a quick smooth down like that. And lastly, I want to have a look at the tissue fit as well to see how this fits to the tissue. So, upside, um, put it in the correct direction, Alt B. Look at it from the inside. Okay, so I'm going to bring that out a bit. Go to Inflate Plus. I'm going to inflate that up. Something like that because once I cut the tissue out of it, we will then have a good tissue fit. Okay. Alt B to get out of that, and exit the sculpting tool. Finally, what we want to do is cut the fitting surface. Go to the wax up or the one of these, um, the splint module, the wax up, then what we're going to do is go to the cutting fitting surfaces, the cutting tools. This is going to, oh, I forgot to, to smooth that a little bit. So um, I'll just go back to the model designer and smooth, sculpt smooth here. Okay, like that, exit. So this becomes our model, our object being cut, and that's the object making the cut, and then apply that. Okay, let's have a look at the finished product. So H2 hide, and this is what it then looks like. You can actually distinctly see where it's been blocked out, and on the other side as well, it's been blocked out over here. And um, that's our Maryland Bridge. If you wanted to smooth it further, make sure you smooth with protection. So all of the cut, the fitting surfaces have been protected and we can happily smooth it without damaging any other surfaces like this. So here, take that and exit. So finally, I want to see what it looks like on the actual model, the original model. And this block out model, I'm going to hide that. So here, when you have a close look inside, we've got an extension here, which you could take away with a burr or polish it. Or if you want to keep it, like on this side, and block it, um, fuse it with um, composite, that's another way of doing it.